Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in for another video. Um, super excited to talk to you guys about the Mega Bass Spark Shad, what I have in front of me right here. Before I get, get into that, just want to thank everyone so much for all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribes. And if you haven't already, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Um, let's get into it. So the Mega Bass Spark Shad. Uh, this has got to be one of my favorite finesse bait type of swim baits. Uh, they make these in different colors, different sizes. Um, and my favorite is the three inch and the four inch. So here I have two of them here, the three inch and I have the four inch here. And I kind of talk to you guys about how I like to rig it, how I like to fish it. Um, <clears throat> the three inch comes in a packaging like this. Um, you can usually get this for about, it's usually retails at $6.99 for a pack of, um, a pack of six. And then the four inch one retails for $8.99 for a pack of five. So um, very, very great plastic, super durable. Um, let's kind of talk a little bit why I like to use this and why this is one of my favorite finesse swim baits. So besides the price of it, um, the, there's a lot of really huge pros about this swim bait and why it catches fish. So first thing I like to point out is the plastic. Um, for Mega Bass, this is a very durable plastics. It is very, very soft. Uh, it's not like a plasticky feel. Oh, it feels like a rubber plastic, which is super nice for swim baits. This here is the three inch model. Um, so the first thing I like about it is, is the actual quality of the plastic. The second one is the realistic eyes. So you get these awesome, awesome realistic eyes on the swim bait here. This is the three inch and this is the a four inch here, but you get the actual realistic eyes on a swim bait that's not just painted on. Um, and the third thing I like about it the most is that it's got a flat uh, top. So your hookup ratios actually increase because there's less plastic out there. So usually a rounded swim bait, kind of like your Kitex, things like that, uh, they're like rounded out. Um, so it's there's a little bit more plastic at the top. With the Spark Shad itself, you eliminate that plastic and you get a little bit more room for a better hookup ratio and also the other thing you get in the other thing you get with it is a different kind of action that's not like your typical kitex okay so the action on this is really good um, i like to rig the three inch one on a simple ball head jig like this one super simple all you do is get a you know quarter ounce eighth ounce um, ball head jig and just rig it straight through and you're all good to go. Um, no modifications needed. This is a bait where you can just take out of the package, rig it up and you're pretty much good to go. It's got real life kind of um, characteristics on here, like the back fin, uh, if we get to zoom, the back fin here. It's got the side fins too as well. You can see the side fins here. And again, it's got even a slight slot here for the gills, if you can see that. So it's got a real life presentation. It's really good. Uh, like I said, it comes in different colors, uh, different sizes, things like that. Kind of touch base on how I like to fish the four inch one. Uh, so this here is a green fish tackle shin spin. Uh, this is a great, um, uh, great little uh, swim bait head with a little spinner on it. Um, but I've had really good success with this too as well. Um, I like to throw it around when I'm fishing around springtime, uh, you know, springtime or fall. Uh, when I fish the summer, then I like to go down, down downsize to a three inch. But um, this is a great way to rig it too, as well. And you don't have to use a shin spin. There's so many other types. Um, you can even rig this uh, with a um, a swim bait hook with a belly weight if you like to. You can fish it weedless, um, you know, because it's got the flat top, so the hook can sit right on top. If you want to rig it um, like a, with a swim bait hook with the belly um, weight on it, so different variations and different ways on how to fish this. But this is just a great finesse swim bait. Uh, Mega Bass does make the Okashira screw heads um, with a spinner um, and uh, I've had this on it too as well. I just actually prefer just the ball head because I really want uh, as finesse as I can get um, with basically just a simple ball head and a swim bait. And when I'm fishing it on the ball head, uh, basically what I'm doing is making a long cast and letting this sink all the way to the bottom, pop it up and then basically do a slow retrieve back to the boat. Um, it's as simple as that. With this guy here, um, same thing in a way, except um, usually with this guy, I'm fishing around docks, heavy cover, so I wouldn't let it sink all the way to the bottom. But I like to, you know, you know, this 
little spin thing it kind of attracts the fish to kind of get that vibration and then pretty much you know when the fish are going to get it they're going to basically attack the plastic here so uh, definitely a great one-two punch here with this but again you know this is kind of where i like to go here most of the time is is with a little finesse swim bait super simple super easy to rig up um and uh, very durable plastics the um tails are mediocre they're not bad they're not great um like the dark sleepers but it's a decent um decent um tail here and uh it doesn't come off too often um which is good and again this is a very durable plastic um but yeah if you guys have any questions let me know about this dark sleeper um come in different colors different sizes like i mentioned it goes through three inch all the way up to a seven inch i believe so they have three a four a five and then a seven so if you would want a seven inch um go to florida fishing and do some kissimmee grass you can definitely get a seven inch or even a five inch would work out just well but here it is a spark chat so any kind of questions let me know but this is an awesome awesome great bait Obviously, you can tell I have a few of these. Um, this is my other box that I have, but I love these little swim baits on ball head jigs. But uh, yeah, so if you guys like the video, go ahead and comment, like, subscribe. Totally appreciate it. But this here is the Mega Bass Spark Shed.